making my future bright at CEC. It's not magic, it's science. Hi everyone and welcome back to iScience. I'm your host, Dr. Donald White. We are coming to you from our iScience laboratory here at the Central Educational Center Video Production Studio. I am so excited for today's episode. I've got a really cool episode for you today. Today we're going to be focusing on liquid nitrogen. Now, for those of you who don't know much about liquid nitrogen, liquid nitrogen is negative 198 degrees Celsius or negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, we use liquid nitrogen in all kinds of industry uh, processes, but one of the things that we use it here for at the CEC is in welding, we, specifically with TIG welding. Um, and we use it to keep oxidation out of the weld and to regulate the temperature of the weld. So it's a really, really, really cool uh, piece of, uh, of material that we're going to do some experiments with. Now, because it's so cold and because uh, here at iScience safety is a priority, I'm going to uh, get my safety glasses on. I'm going to put my gloves on. Um, and I'm going to need some additional equipment to do some of these experiments. So in order to do them, uh, I'm going to go to the void uh, where we keep all of our experimental equipment, you know, because it's safer that way. So I'm going to go check out the void. So let's go over to the void, plug in my super secret code. All right, and from the void, I need a bowl, a, a banana, banana, a block of wood, and a balloon. What else is the void giving me today? Oh, we need a flower. Come on, Void, help me out. Oh, there it is. So we got our flower. So we got all of our equipment that we need to do our experiment today. All right, we got to lock the Void up. All right, now we're ready to do some experiments. Now, remember I told you that uh, this stuff is super duper cold. Um, and uh, one of the things that it likes to do, because it's so cold, is it likes to change states. So what we're going to do is we're going to explore some phase changes, some changes of state, physical changes with our liquid nitrogen. So I've got liquid nitrogen back here. Um, and this piece of equipment is called a Dewar flask. And it allows us to keep the liquid nitrogen nice and cold. Um, our friends at the University of West Georgia and the chemistry department loaned the Dewar flask to us. And the liquid nitrogen came from our friends at Airgas uh, here in Noonan. Um, Airgas uh, is a welding supply company. So thank them very much for uh, supplying that with us. All right, now I'm going to pour some of this into our bowl here. And you can see right away, when we pour the liquid nitrogen out, we get this fog effect that's happening. And that is actually water in the atmosphere that's in here that you can't see, water vapor, water gas, that is turning into little tiny droplets of liquid water. The, the fog that you see, the white stuff, is actually liquid water. A lot of people think that that is gaseous water, and it's not. All right? It's gotten so cold that it's changed from a gas to a liquid. Now, speaking of gases, I am full of hot air, and so is this balloon. Um, and I filled this balloon up with air. It's at room temperature. Um, now, when I put it into the liquid nitrogen, uh, it's going to cool off. And when we cool off gases, they condense. All right, so we're going to start condensing our gas here. As I put it down in there, it's getting super chilled. The particles in the gas are cooling off and slowing down, um, and I'm getting a phase change, a physical change that's happening. All right, and our balloon is getting brittle. All kinds of interesting stuff is happening in there, um, getting colder and colder. And in fact, if I get it cold enough, 
We might even be able to take the air that's inside of the balloon and turn it into a liquid. So when I pull it back out, you'll probably be able to see a little bit of, of it floating around in there. Now you can see our fog that's forming again. That's from the, the water and the air turning uh, from gas into liquid. And our balloon is inflating itself um, because the gas inside it is warming up and expanding and pushing against the sides of the balloon. So now it's almost back to its original shape, which is, I think, pretty cool. Now, I'm going to show you some more with it. Um, now, this is a, a, a flower, right? And flowers are plants. Plants are made up of plant cells, which are, if you think about tiny Ziplocs, Ziploc bags of, of water, that's what the plant cells are. Um, and that water in those cells gives it its flexibility. So like the plant can move around really easy. I can squeeze on the flowers and nothing really happens much. But now you guys know if you leave water in the freezer, uh, it freezes and turns into ice. Well, if you leave water in a plastic bag in the freezer, it turns into ice, but it will actually bust the plastic bag. All right. And we're going to do that with this flower. So I'm going to take the flower, I'm going to put it into our liquid nitrogen. Our liquid nitrogen is cooling off the flower here. All of those little tiny bags of uh, liquid water are turning into ice, making the, the plant really, really rigid. And when I pull it back out, you'll notice that it is smoking um, from the uh, liquid water in the air. And now when I squeeze it, Notice that it turned into basically a powder. And that's because of all of those little tiny cells that have been ruptured because the ice that got in them and, and made them really super brittle. Um, now, you guys uh, know if you're fans of eye science that uh, I like to do strange things with food, right? You may think that this is a banana, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this banana into a hammer and use it to drive a nail. All right, so I'm going to put my banana down in my liquid nitrogen. Now, unlike the movies, when we use liquid nitrogen, it actually takes a little while for the liquid nitrogen to pull all the heat out of uh, the material that, that is in the liquid nitrogen. Like in the movies, you know, they stick their finger in it and they tr instantly freeze. It's not exactly the way it works. So what you've got going on right now is you've got the liquid nitrogen is boiling uh, because the banana is warmer than the li liquid nitrogen. Um, and as the liquid nitrogen boils, it carries the heat away from the banana, getting the banana colder and colder and colder. Um, and we're going to let this sit in there. And while it's sitting, I'm going to pull out a nail that I'm going to be able to drive into a piece of wood with my banana hammer. So it's still bubbling away. I'm going to give it just a a few seconds more to make sure it is um, going to be able to do what we need it to do. Um, but this is fascinating stuff to look at while it's uh, bubbling away in there and getting super duper cold. Remember we said it was a hundred neg uh, a negative 198 degrees Celsius or negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit. For those of you studying chemistry, that's right around 70 Kelvin. I think we're in a good spot. Let's take it out now and see if we have a banana hammer. You can hear that's pretty brittle right there, pretty hard. So now I'm going to take my nail. Here's my block of wood. Try not to spaz out on TV. And there we go. We drove a nail into a piece of wood with a banana. Crazy things happen here on iScience. Um, and I want to show you one more uh, crazy thing that's happening. We're going to take this liquid nitrogen, which we said likes to turn from liquid into a gas, um, and we're going to get it to turn into a gas all at once. So what we'll do, I got a bucket here, and I'm going to pour some liquid nitrogen into our bucket. And because I want this to be really cool, I'm going to add some more liquid nitrogen. Now, you hear it bubbling, you can see it smoking and all that kind of stuff. That's the liquid nitrogen turning into a gas. Now, if I add in some really warm water, 
I'll get all of that liquid nitrogen to turn into a gas all at once. So let's do some science. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. Uh, you see all of our, our uh, liquid nitrogen boiling off here. Um, we got water flowing everywhere. Uh, this, is, this is really cool, uh, pardon the pun. Um, and more cool things are going to happen here on iScience. If you want to come see more episodes of iScience, please check us out at our website. Um, and um, don't forget to come back later for more iScience with Dr. White here from the iScience studio at the CEC. This has been an original production for the CEC Network.